All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. It's Brown Fossil Creek Kennels. I do a lot of hunting, I do a lot of fishing. I do, I'm gonna start doing some product reviews. I, I am not sponsored <coughs> by any of these companies where I buy my my stuff from, my products, my hunting gear, and my fishing gear. I'm not sponsored by anybody. By no means am I got any sponsors. But I'm going to do a little review on some products that I bought today. And I use these products a lot when I do a lot of fishing. Just be like a little fishing product review. Uh... I went to Academy Sports and Outdoors today. Uh, I do a lot. Of, I do a lot of buy. I buy a lot of st stuff from uh, from them. I do want to make a little shout out. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if the boys got a uh, YouTube page or not, but Blue Wolf baits.com uh he's an amazing kid uh sean summers uh but you can look him up on facebook or you can look him up on uh i think twitter uh and and he you can go online and look him up online at uh blue wolf baits.com uh <laughs> He he makes an amazing product, soft plastics, swim baits, worms, crawl worms. Uh, he's on the Keller, Texas Indian uh, fishing team. Uh, I think they're ranked like 20th in the state of Texas. <laughs> the boy's got a he got a good mind on him, and he's got a good like good deal for fishing. I'm going to make a shout out for him. Uh, his name is Sean Summers. Uh, he's, he makes a heck of, he makes his good soft baits. Plastic worms, swim baits. He's located here in Keller, Texas. Uh, I give you a phone number but I don't have it on me right now. Uh, but anyhow, uh, good shout out for Sean. <coughs> <clears throat> anyway, I pay uh, these baits here that I that, uh, that I got from Academy today. I use these these baits quite a bit, especially the spinner baits, the buzz baits. Uh, uh, But it's Academy is starting to piss me off really much, okay? They stop selling true turn worm hooks, soft plastic worm hooks. And I'm telling you, it's, it's uh, I think they, they want to get into their H2 products because it's, it's made specifically for Academy. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, which is fine. Uh, I didn't pay but 99 cents uh, for these worm hooks. Uh, I don't like an off shank hook for my worm. And I just don't think it makes a good presentation. That's just, just me. Uh, I, I like a straight shank. You're in a four aught or a three aught hook. Uh, let me switch this thing around. See this product right here? Okay, it's an H2O Express. I like this type of hook. Straight shank hook. Well, that's a good worm hook. True Turn makes these same type of hooks, but they got a little small offset, kind of like a little 45 dip and curl back. 
uh, right here, right about right there, where my thumb's at on this shank. Uh, and it's got a little barbs on it. It helps hold the uh, worm on the hook. <laughs> true club, true glow, or true turn hooks are by far my personal opinion, my personal preference as far as worm hooks. Uh, but I'd have to go to Cabela's, which is about a 25 30 minute drive from me north of Fort Worth, or about the same distance as Bass Pro Shops in Grapevine, Texas. Alright. And I seen this little frog today out there. Out there. Hmm. I need a new frog. It's a soft worm. It's a soft plastic. It's a popping frog. It floats. Floats right on top of the surface. Or you can put a little weight in it where you can make it sink down just a little bit. I've used these before. And I love them. I love them to death. Uh, that's that one. They're great for like fishing in wheelie pads or or thick, dense hydrilla or grass. Uh, I've got a few ponds that I fish. Uh, you gotta take a small boat, non gasoline motor on them. Uh, you can put a gasoline motor on them if you want. I mean, there's no restrictions, but. These are little the spinners that I like. Um, uh, either with with willow leaves or without them, it don't matter. Uh, all of them are quarter ounce. I like a quarter ounce uh, spinner bean, uh, but they just different colors. <coughs> This is the company that makes them. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Dang, I got the coffees this morning. But that is the company that makes these uh, these spinner baits. This is a blue kind of silver flake one. Uh, this one here is a kind of got a greenish gray flake to it pretty kind of looks like a little bass same color as a bass <laughs> what I like about these these spinner baits are if y'all see that or not see the way this shank is I mean uh, I mean y'all y'all know about spinner baits a lot of your fishermen do See that right there? That's a little rubber garment, little plastic rubber garment thing right there. <coughs> if y'all remember back in the day, they used to be rubber bands. <coughs> Excuse me, dang. Anyhow. Goodness gracious. What y'all see? Can y'all see it? <laughs> Dang it. It says forward up there whenever you crank this thing on. Anyhow, I'm getting off pace here. In my little product review. This little thing right here is to help keep this skirt in place and help keeping it on. I don't know about Strike King. Because I don't have Strike King. I do have some, but they're the older ones. The older style uh, deal. I don't have the new ones. I don't know about the Kevin Van Dams or, or Scott Martin or anything like that. Uh, their products or the way that, you know, <coughs> these big sponsored fishermen, their lures and all are. But these little lures right here, and they have amazed me. They're good quality lures. Good quality lures. And I'm going to show you something on my receipt. <coughs> Excuse me, fellas. Excuse me. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, I'm coughing and I normally don't cough like this a whole lot. I do, but I don't, but no. Nah. If y'all just look at this receipt. Dang it. Come on. Focus. It's not wanting to focus. There we go. Y'all see that 199? 199. Okay, 299. All right, those three are the spinner baits. That 399 was for that frog. And then I got some. Well, slip weights for my crappie setups, and and then them two hooks, two packages of hooks, ninety nine cents a piece. Okay, and some these worms right here, sinker worms, for my bass setup, Texas rig or goodness <coughs> crazy. Well, anyway. Y'all, that's enough of that. Um, uh, these right here are the these. This brand of spinner baits, and they also have jigs, uh, and they also have uh, buzz baits. I use the bud bait, the buzz baits, and the uh, spinner baits. They are, they're good. They got, they come in eighth ounce, quarter ounce, and three eighths ounce, and half ounce. And they're under three dollars. Every one of them, even their buzz baits, nine dollar ninety nine. To two dollars and ninety nine cents. My uh, and they're it's just they're made in Dominican the, the Republic. Uh, now, my honest opinion, and I, I, I used to. I'm a. I'm a big. I mean, I love go fishing. I love bass fishing. I love crappie fishing. I love cat fishing. <coughs> but these lures that are making Strike King and not and Rebel and um, and <coughs> and Bomber and stuff like that. They're always been. True pride, you know. I can remember going back when I was a kid. Hey, <coughs> I apologize. Goodness, uh, man, you, you used to be able to go and buy these things for ninety nine cents, a dollar forty nine. Uh, and I know times have changed and everything nowadays. These rebels and these and and. And everything. Uh, hang on, man. My mother wants one. I was just gonna tell you when you go get your daddy, I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we go. The price has gone up. I understand that, but. It, it went up from like two dollars and ninety nine cents to three dollars like these lures here that I bought up to seven eight nine ten eleven dollars for a damn spinner bait <coughs> it's just outrageous <coughs> <coughs> and they really ain't changed their uh the way they make them I mean they're made the same uh so uh and I'm not saying that they're bad lures or whatever, you know, it's just inflation and, and things like that. But when a company like this, Yahoo, that I know here, a Wahoo company, I know they're made in Dominican Republic, but uh, 
American companies can make these same type of lures and uh, still make the money, still make their money. I mean, it just upsets me. About, even the hunting industry upsets me. Uh, but that's another story and everything. Uh, Alright, this is Brian Gant from uh, Fanny River Kennels. <laughs> now, I apologize for the coughing and everything. I just. The allergies are getting to me now. Making me cough a little more. We got a lot of pollen rolling around in Texas, so. God bless. Uh, y'all have a great day, and I hope y'all had a wonderful, uh, blessed Easter weekend. And, uh, see you down the road.